All right, what's going on everybody? Broken Games HDR back again with another video. And in this video, we're actually gonna be talking about a few uh, different things. Usually um, when I do a video, uh, it's usually just one topic, but I don't, I didn't feel like each one of these topics necessarily warranted their own video. So I'm gonna be talking about three different things in this video. We're gonna be talking about an update on the Twisted Metal rumor. Uh, we're gonna be talking about the PS4 and PS5 production news that just came out today. And we're gonna be talking about Rockstar in regards to GTA 6, Red Dead Redemption 2, next gen update rumor, and Red Dead Redemption uh, remake, the original. So first let's talk about this Twisted Metal situation. So a few days ago, right, um, we learned that Twisted Metal, the, twi the developer of Twisted Metal uh, was no longer going to be Lucid Games, right? Um, it was rumored a while ago, it was never confirmed, Sony never confirmed this, but we pretty much know it was true that Lucid Games, the developer of uh, Destruction All-Stars, had started development of Twisted Metal. Then we found out, as I said a few days ago, that a first-party uh, PlayStation um, studio in Europe had taken over the development, and we didn't know which studio, and we didn't know why they switched development, right? Um, of course, we speculated. Um, and we knew it pretty much had to be out of uh, uh, Fire Sprite or um, London Studios. At first, I thought it was London Studios, but but then people pointed out a few things to me. And I'm like, it's definitely going to be Fire Sprite. Now we have more confirmation. It's pretty much 99% Fire Sprite. And we even know who the game director is is going to be on uh, on this Twisted Metal reboot. Right, so at first I was skeptical to say it was gonna be Fire Sprite only because I know they were working on several other projects, but Fire Sprite is, is a huge studio. They're like 300 developers over there, which is, you know, on the higher end, you know, um, like when you look at other uh, Sony first party studios, like, you know, Santa Monica, Naughty Dog, Gorilla, they're, they're around 300. So um, Fire Sprite pretty much has the amount that all the other top studios have. So they can, you know, tackle tackle multiple projects like a lot of the studios do, right? So, um, and this is, this report, um, this update comes from uh, the same publication. It came from a few days ago, uh, VGC Video Game Chronicles. So it says, uh, VGC reported earlier, earlier this week that Destruction All-Stars studio Lucid Games had stopped development on the Twisted Metal uh, reboot. We now understand that UK-based Fire Sprite, which was acquired by Sony last year, has taken over the project. Um, and also, as I mentioned, we learned where we pretty much figured out who the uh, game director is going to be is going to be Matt Southern. And this also connects into how we know it's Fire Sprite that has taken over the development because when you go to Matt Southern's LinkedIn, and I know this because they linked it in the article, right? So when you go to Matt Southern's LinkedIn, a month ago, he he was working at Lucid Games and he was the game director of Destruction All-Stars. And now he is working at Fire Sprite. Literally just started working at Fire Sprite this month. That's not a coincidence. The man is the man is clearly directing um uh, uh Twisted Metal, right? And I guess Sony just, you know, off, gave him an offer he couldn't refuse, uh, couldn't refuse, right? Uh, it's, as the rumor suggests, that Lucid Games probably started development of it, right? And Sony wanted the game to be uh, a little bit more under their control, um, under their umbrella and under their development. I mean, they were going to be, they're the owners of tw the Twisted Metal IP, but they probably wanted it to be, be developed by a studio directly under their umbrella so they can watch it closely, I assume, right? So he was working at Lucid Games. And by the way, this guy did work for uh, PlayStation before, right? He's a former PlayStation developer, which I'm going to get into that. Um, but they probably offered him a bag, offered him an opportunity. Hey, you want to come back to PlayStation um, uh, and be a director, game director at at, uh, at Fire Sprite? And he said, of course, you know, why, why would he say no? Um, so he left Lucid Games um, and now he's back at Sony under Fire Sprite. So um, obvious, it's, it's, it's obvious what's happening now, right? The, the first, you know, there were several clues, like it could only be out of like two or three PlayStation Europe studios, um, it, you know, and... We knew it could be Fire Sprite or London Studios. Now that this guy just left Lucid Games and went to Fire Sprite, we know what's happening. Um, so as far as uh, Matt Southern, right? 
Um, there's a few things he has under his belt that make me uh, that that make me uh, because before when this was reported, the original story, I was worried, right? I'm like, I don't know if this if this change is a good thing or a bad thing. Now I, I'm I'm more confident and I'm more secure and um, uh, I'm I'm okay with it now because this guy who's the game director, even though yes, he was the game director of uh, Destruction All Stars, which sucked. He also um, he also uh, was the game director. Well, not the game director, but he worked on Drive Club, and he uh, and he also uh, worked on. No, the well, not him. Yeah, he worked on Drive Club, and we know he has also uh, Destruction All Stars under his belt. And a lot of the dudes, well, some of the dudes, I don't know about a lot, but some of the dudes at Fire Sprite, the developers, uh, were de were former Sony devs who also worked on a game like games like Wipeout. So they have some driving, racing, uh, vehicle type experience um, at at that studio, which is which is a good thing. Right. So even though he, you know, he he was the game director of a game, I think sucked. I think the culmination of all of their experience between him and that studio, I think Twisted Metal is in good hands. I am no longer worried. And uh, yeah, I think things are going to be things are going to be fine. So I can I can rest easy knowing Twisted Metal. Twisted Metal is, is definitely in, 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 in the right hands. Oh, and but I forgot to mention Motorstorm. He also. Uh, he also did some work on on Motor Motorstorm, um, I believe. Yeah, uh, Matt Southern, director of various Motorstorm games in the past. People love the Motor Motorstorm games. See, I knew there was a. I'm like, wait, I mentioned, I had mentioned, uh, you know, all these games. I'm like, I figured, Wipeout, Drive Club, Destruction, All Stars. I knew I was forgetting something. Motorstorm also, which I think uh, that that experience may lend to um, Twisted Metal, also. So yeah, all that experience between those type of games. I, I think they're uh, they're on the right track with this. So yeah. All right. Now let's move on to the uh, PS4 and PS5 uh, production story. So according to this article from Bloomberg, uh, Sony is dealing with PS5 shortages by making more PS4s. Right. So uh, let me just read the article real quick. Um, Sony will continue producing PS4 consoles throughout 2022 as it navigates disruptions to the global supply chain that have limited the output of the PS5, the Japanese conglomerate uh, whose PS5 consoles has been in scarce supply since the debut in November 2020, told partners late last year that it will continue making its early generation machine throughout this year, according to people familiar with the matter. While Sony never officially announced when it would stop making the PS4, it had previously planned to discontinue assembly by the end of 2021, they said, asking not to be named as the plans are not public. Okay, so this is a source that didn't want to be want to be named. So here's the, here's the situation, right? So yes, PlayStation, Sony wanted a quick transition between consoles, you know, um, we know that. But COVID interrupted those plans, obviously. And now they're trying to compensate um, by increasing the amount of PS4s that they were originally going to be released. Because one thing people need to keep in mind and why this is not an issue and that some people were looking at it as like a bad thing is the create manufacturing more PS4s has no impact on the manufacturing of PS5s. These are different parts and these are different chips. So I don't know why people were looking at it as, okay, PS4, creating more PS4s is going to decrease how many more PS5s they make. No, they're just making more PS4s and they're going to be manufacturing as many PS5s as they possibly can, which is what they were always doing. So I don't know why people looked, looked at it as more PS4s, less PS5s. That's, that's not the case. They're just trying to compensate and get me more PS4s um, available um, because, you know, there are cross-gen games, of course, as we know, God of, God of War, Ragnarok, uh, Horizon Forbidden West. Um, and I'm, I'm hoping in the future that the, the you know, the future PlayStation games don't end up being cross-gen. But as we know, there are some major cross-gen uh, PlayStation titles out around this time. So they still want to sell those um, and max and maximize 
uh, those sales. So they're putting uh, as many PS4s uh, out there also as they as they can, because we know the PS4 has already sold like a hundred and you know I don't know what it's up to 120, 125 million out there, something like that. Um, so that's all it really is. To me, it's not an issue. It's not really a story. Some people like to twist it, but you, you know, you know how 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 that goes. Um, so yeah, I don't see I don't I don't see a problem um, as long as they keep making PS5s. And and mind you, a lot of people seem to a lot of people that have or had PS4s, um, they seem to wait um, to still play these games that are available on PS4. PS4. They seem to wait to play them on PS5 when they eventually get one, which is one of the reasons why Miles Morales still s still continues to sell very well up until now. Or it could be that they, you know, they play it on PS4 and they also play it on uh, PS5 when they get a PS5. Either way, I don't think this uh, is is a problem. The article also says th uh, this strategy would add about a million PS4 units this year to help offset some of the pressure on the company's PS5 production. Um, it's, it's very much in demand. It's, it also says the older console uses less advanced chips. It's simpler to make and provides a budget friendly alternative to the PS five. And there you have it. Um, so yeah, moving on to the next and last piece, uh, that I wanted to speak about. So first, not that we needed a report to tell us this, but GTA 6 will probably be the only Rockstar game this generation. No, no surprise there. We know that Rockstar's production of games has severely fallen off. And part of that is GTA games are a cash cow. Like GTA, GTA 5 continues to sell now it's it it's still be in the top 10 games now the, it's it was on ps3 ps4 it's it's already released on ps5 right i don't even keep up anymore right but it's on all consoles even even now it's on every it's on every platform of course except uh, except switch it, it it can it even though it's I'm about to say seven years old it's like nine years old at this point and it still outsells some new games I mean, they're, they, they just released DLC. They, uh, you know, GTA Online itself is, is a cash cow. I mean, th they have really no reason to like rush and, and um, well, not, not even rush, just create other projects because they're just sitting back and collecting money. Do I think they can make other side projects and not sit back and, and 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 use seven eight years to create the next GTA or the next uh, Red Dead. Sure, sure they could. They definitely could. But I don't think they really care to, because you, there's no way you can't you can tell me the the size of of Rockstar because they have different development sites. Some of them could could create a different project. Now they pretty much have been what they alternate between GTA and and, and Red Dead. They could definitely make something else because as somebody pointed out, when you look at um. The, the games Rockstar released like in the early 2000s, like they, they released Midnight Club Street Racing in 2000, Smuggler's Run 2000, GTA 3 2001, Max Payne 2001. Um, wait, Max Payne, that was, Max Payne, why, why is this on this list? That was a, Max, they didn't make Max Payne one. Obviously I know they made, um, Rockstar took over and made, uh, Max Payne three, but I literally had no idea they published the first, the the first Max Payne game. That's complete news to me. So that threw me for a loop. Okay, so apparently they had they did some development of, of maybe some of the versions or the ports, and they, and they definitely published it. Okay, uh, Max Payne that was two thousand one, Smuggler's Run that was also two thousand one, Grand Theft Auto Vice City that was twenty twenty two, Manhunt, Max Payne two, uh, Midnight Club two, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. De uh, Red Dead Revolver, all all of these these games. Th th this is like fifteen games. It's like fifteen games or something, right? I'm 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 just estimating, and this is this is within like seven years, and they probably didn't like fully develop all of this. Some of this was like published stuff, I think, but they probably co developed. The point is, their game output was great before. Now, 
they're pretty much making one game one game a, a, a gen essentially. Um, which leads me to the next rumor, which I fully believe. Uh, there is a Red Dead 2 next-gen update coming for PS5 and Xbox Series consoles, right? Um, I believe that, but I'm not the biggest... I mean, I, I liked Red Dead 2, but I have no desire to play it again. I mean, I could play it on PC if I wanted it to now. But I look at Red Dead 2 as like it's it's a technical masterpiece but gameplay wise man that game could be a chore there's a lot of people i know that fell asleep on that game there's a lot of people i know that didn't even end up beating that game and i don't shame anybody that didn't end up beating that game because it's it's long as hell and a lot of the missions were a chore to do a lot it was there was too much micromanagement in that game that's one of the biggest problems so i don't blame anybody who didn't beat it and i have no desire to play that game again um but what I do care about is a Red Dead Redemption remake, because to me, Red Dead, the original, is a better game than Red Dead 2. So I would absolutely want a remake. And I think I think the rumors are saying that um, and this comes from uh, an, in, an industry insider uh, who apparently has been right about a few things. But, you know, believe what you want. Um, he's saying that the Red Dead Redemption 2 next gen update will release uh, sometime this year or possibly next year, um, but we'll learn about it at least this year. And then the remake for the original, uh, which is which he claims is more of a remaster remake, I, I guess similar to. Uh, the GTA trilogy, but I hope it's much better than the GTA trilogy because we've seen the state and fashion that that um, trilogy, that those remasters launched in. That is something that um, there's going to be an announcement for this year, he states also. So I hope they learned their lesson with how, um, you know, the, the uh, trilogy turned out and to actually put for put forth proper e proper effort uh when it comes to the come to this remaster remake and like they should just not half ass it like if you're going to remake uh Red Dead do it properly not like how you did you know these um this this trilogy because honestly that's the least you can do if you're going to be releasing one game per gen and you need like these little stop gaps or whatever Bruh, put forth, put forth the full effort. It's the least you can give us, since you're not really giving us, you know, you you, you know, you're barely giving us, you know, um, two games a gen. You know, like at least do that right is is my point. But I, I would look forward to a Red Dead uh, uh, remake. So um, that's all I want to talk about. Uh, let me know what y'all think about all these stories. Um, hit the like button. Hit the notification bell so you can know any time I upload or uh, go live. And follow me on Twitter for all my hot takes, but um, truthful and accurate takes. And uh, hit the join button to become part of the channel uh, members and to support the channel. All right, I'll catch you all on the next video. I'm out of here. Peace.